So good morning Lana you know, on today's lesson and we are continuing to uh, where we left. We are looking at the volume and capacity and today we want to see the relationship between cubic centimeters, meters and uh, meters or cubic meters. So we are going to see that uh, as I told you 1000 cubic centimeters is going to be 1 meter. That is this. Then one uh, one thousand one million cubic centimeter is going to be one cubic meter, and then of course a thousand liters, one thousand liters is going to be one cubic meter. So these are the relationships that we're going to use in this particular exercise. That are going to see. So we, we, we can give an example like convert 4,000 liters, convert 4,000 liters into cubic meters. Cubic meters. So where do you start, Lana? You now look at the relationship between the one that has liters and cubic meters. Liters and cubic meters. So we are going to use this one. See? One, one cubic meter is equivalent to 1,000 liters. What about 4,000? 4, 4,000 liters is equivalent to how many cubic meters? That arrow means that you multiply this number with this one. So 4,000 liters multiplied by 1 cubic meter over 1,000 liters. So you are going to realize that these liters are going to cancel. One, two, three zeros are going to cancel with one, two, three zeros. And therefore your answer is going to be four meters cubed. Four cubic meters is going to be your answer. So that is uh, one case. Then another case here, that is B, you are told, a term has the following dimensions. So we have a term which has these dimensions and draw it here very fast. That this term has um, 1.5 meters length, then it has 1 meter height, and the width of this is 1.2 meters. Then the question is, what is the capacity of the tank in liters? The capacity, capacity in liters. So you have, you have to do two things here, Lana. Number one, you have to get this volume. After getting this volume, now you convert that volume into capacity. How do you get volume of a, of a cuboid? This is the shape of a cuboid. The tank is the shape of a cuboid. And so, volume is equal to length times width times height. That is going to give you a volume of 1.5 meters times 1.2 meters times 1 meter. That is going to be 1.5 times 1.2 times 1. That is going to be 15 times 12. You get 0. This is going to be 3, 5, and then 1. 0, 8, 1. Then how many small places do you have? 1, 2. 1, 2. So 1.2. The volume is going to be 1.8 cubic meters. So after getting that done, that is not the answer. We move now to the question. Uh, what is the capacity of these in liters? Now, we come to where we have liters and cubic meters. So we are here. See? 1,000 liters is equal to 1 cubic meter. 1 cubic meter. What about 1.8 cubic meter? Is how many liters? So this is our number to be multiplied by the number above the question mark. That is going to be 1.8 cubic meters times 1,000 meters over 1 cubic meter. The units are very important to be written because you will know now the final answer will acquire what kind of, uh, kind of, uh, of our units. These are this is going to cancel and therefore you will bring 1.8 times 1,000, but the answer is going to be having units liters. So I say, when you're multiplying with zeros, 
one zero you move this one point bring it here comes eighteen. So you write eighteen, then you add one two zeros. Then these are going to be liters. So your answer is going to be one thousand eight hundred liters. Let me give you another one, Lana. A trough, sorry. Um, what is the capacity in liters of a container whose shape in cube is a cube of size twenty? So we are told that um, we get the capacity of a cube whose size is twenty. Meaning that if it is a cube, then all the sides are equal. And if the sides are equal, it means if one measures twenty centimeter, then the rest also measures twenty centimeter. So how we get volume first? You know, like twenty centimeter by twenty centimeter by twenty centimeter. In this case, you get twenty times twenty times twenty. You get two times two. You get four. Four times two. You get eight. Then one, two, three zeros. These are going to be cubic centimeters. So the volume is eight thousand cubic centimeters. That's what you answer. You ask these terms of liters. So this volume change to liters. You say one liter is equals to one thousand cubic centimeters. What about eight thousand liters? Sorry, eight thousand cubic centimeters is how many liters? So this is formulated with that one. So this is going to be eight thousand. Cubic centimeters times the number of the, 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 the question mark one liter over the number on this side one thousand cubic centimeter three zeros are going to cancel three zeros cubic centimeters will cancel and your answer is going to be liters so eight eight liters is your answer so in this exercise of uh, size eight nine that is exactly what You are supposed to do. Let me write the final uh, question before I give you uh, some work to do. Whereby you are given a question. Manyumba, Manyumba, empty it. He took some water and empty it. Three containers. Three containers. Each holding, each holding, each container had two thousand liters, two thousand liters of water, water into a tank. And the question is, how much water was this in cubic meters? How much? Water was this in cubic meters. So we answer that question A. That there are three containers and each one is having two thousand liters. So the total liters are three times two thousand, two hundred. Sorry, we give you six thousand liters. We are told to convert now these liters in cubic meters. One cubic meter equals to one thousand. Liters. What about six thousand liters? Is how many cubic meters? This to be multiplied with this one times one cubic meter over one thousand liters. Liter and liter we cancel. Two zeros we cancel zero. We remain with six over ten. Six over ten divided. Let's hope we lose one less one less. Comes zero point six. But this units are cubic. Meters. So the answer is zero point six cubic units. B. If the tank had a square base of two meters, that means that now I come from this side to write this question. A. If the tank had a square B. If the tank had a square had a square base. Square base of two meters, two meters by two meters. What was the depth of the water? What was the depth of the water? Of the water 
in the time. The other one thing you have, you have to realize that depth in, 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 the, in, the, uh, in mathematics means also height. So we have to draw a term. We are told that the base, the base was a square. So it has a square base, meaning that it looked like this. That is, this was two meters, two meters, and we don't have the height. But this one, the total volume of this is, uh, is uh, 0.6 cubic meters. We go here because we have replaced the volume and we have got 0.6 cubic meters. So if you want like uh, 2 meters times 2 meters times the height, the answer is supposed to be 0.6 cubic meters. So that is what it means. So this means 4h four, four is equal to 0.6 meters, 9 by 4, 9 by 4. So your answer is going to be 8 is equals to 0 0.6 over 4. So to, you, to remove this decimal point, you multiply by 10 on both sides. So this one will remove gum 6. So 8 is equals to 6 over 4 times 10, which is 40. Now from there you divide 40, then 6. 0 0.01, you get 40. 0, 2. Add a zero there, how many times Lana? Five. You get 200. And therefore, our height is therefore 0 0.15 meters. If you multiply this, 0 0.15 meters times two times two, you are supposed to get 0 0.6 uh, meters cube. So Lana, that's how you get a uh, part which is not given by now using. Uh, this particular volume that you So having said that, Lana, I want to leave you with work. That is this size 89. It's 69. 89. I want you to do questions number one, number one to six. One to six on page on page 147, 148. Make sure you do this work, do it well, and then submit for marking for us to be able to understand whether we clearly got what we thought. So until next time, Lana, I want to wish you well. And sure that in your calculations, you don't miss out the, 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 the units. Very, very important, because in the exam you find that you are given different units, just confuse you. So if you know exactly what you are doing, you are likely to get the answers correct. So until next time, Lana, I want to wish you well. Have a blessed, blessed day ahead and be very, very busy at home doing something that can benefit you. God bless you.